Do you want to hear about a great fresh scent this year? Hey fragrance family, I'm Dave and I'm a fragrance bro. Of course, your best source for everything fragrance related. Today I have a video about a review on a fragrance that just came out. Um, I've seen a couple of reviews out there about this, so uh, I wanted to give my shot at this. It is Moscow Mule by Juliet Has a Gun. Now before we get to anything, I just wanna mention that this was sent to me for review by Juliet Has a Gun, so I just wanna get that out of the way for full disclosure. Of course, that's not gonna affect my review at all. Also, if you wanna watch a video of the box and bottle, I'll have a video up here where you can go and watch that. I'll do an unboxing of that. You can go see up close. A uh, great bottle and presentation. All right, let's get straight to it. Date introduced is 2018, this year as of this recording. It's classified as a woody citrusy. Notes are ginger, lime, bergamot, Apple, Amber, Sandalwood, Isoe Super, Ambroxan, Ambretolide, and uh, Norlimbanol. As for these notes here, I had to look up a few of those. I obviously knew what Isoe Super was, I knew what Ambroxan was. And looking up Ambretolide, Ambretolide is a synthetic Ambrette. So it has kind of a musky smell that Ambrette has. Norlimbanol is a woody scent, again, which is very, very dry and kind of verges on the patchouli side of smells. All right, so longevity on this is okay. It's pretty good. I would say it's in probably around the six hour mark with me. Uh, projection is pretty good as well. I would say that's in the average range. Um, overall, it's kind of on the lighter side of average. Season, I think this is great for spring and summer. And for purpose, I think this is great for casual and work and mostly daytime. All right, so this is the first fragrance from Juliet Has a Gun that I've tried. Um, this one is called Moscow Mule, and apparently it's supposed to be reminiscent of the cocktail Moscow Mule, which I've never tried. The cocktail is supposed to have a lot of ginger and uh, supposed to have a coppery type of taste. And the perfumer, Romano Ricci, who has made other perfumes for Juliet Has a Gun, was really inspired by that and really uh, had kind of that copper ginger uh, theme going in. This is a fragrance that really gets me excited for the rest of this line, and I really want to try the rest of the line because this is a fantastic fresh scent. If you're familiar with Versace Man Eau Fraiche or Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue for women, this has a similar type of smell to those. Uh, but I would say that it's more of a refined um, kind of upgraded version to those. Now, I have never tried the cocktail called Moscow Mule, so I don't know exactly how it compares to that. Um, I'm assuming that it's a very refreshing type of cocktail. So if you like that already, definitely check this out because I think you might like it. But as for the way it smells, I definitely get a very citrusy top. I do get bergamot in there. Uh, there's some lime and ginger in there, obviously, at the top. I love the opening of this. It's very, very tangy and really refreshing. And it has just this really nice, soft feel to it from the way that the notes are presented that is fantastic. Once that kind of dries down some more, I get a lot of apple. And that apple is very, very nice, has a kind of juicy, fresh, fruity feel that is fantastic in this, but it's not too sweet. So there's more to it than that. There's sandalwood, isoe super, and some musky notes. I don't get a lot of the woody characteristics out of this, but I do get the musky qualities. So it goes from citrusy to fruity to musky, and that's pretty much the life of the fragrance. And I really like the interplay between the, the fruity aspects and the somewhat floral aspects and the really bright citrusy top to it. But I also think this works really well for women too. Because of that kind of floral fruity aspect, it really works well on a woman's skin as well. And as I've mentioned, there are two somewhat cheaper alternatives to this, in, so to speak. Um, but I don't think that cheaper is better in this case. I think that this has a much more refined feeling to it. It smells more expensive. And that is important when you buy a niche fragrance. The only criticism that I think some people might have is that the performance isn't spectacular the way that some people expect out of niche fragrances. Now, I'm not the type of person that really expects that. <laughs> and this is a spectacular fragrance that is not too light. I think it's in the average realm, but I think that if there is one thing that people won't like about it, it's gonna be that it's not gonna last necessarily longer than eight hours. As for compliments, I didn't really get many personally. Um, my wife didn't really love it, which really surprised me because she really likes Versace Man Eau Fraiche. 
She said she doesn't really see much of a similarity between the two, so maybe there's another opinion for you. But whenever I wear Versace Mano Fresh for an extended amount of time, I will get several compliments from that. And I could definitely see this also getting a lot of compliments just because it has a very appealing type of smell and it smells just kind of expensive. I really, really love this scent. Moscow Mule is definitely gonna stay in my collection. <laughs> it's not gonna be one that I give away. And it's gonna replace Versace Mano Fresh for me because it's a better alternative to that. So definitely staying in here. I've worn it a lot in the last week that I've had it and definitely gonna wear it a lot more uh, this summer. As to the price, I was a little bit surprised. It's $135 for 100 mil, which I think is a great value for a niche fragrance. 50 mil is $100. And you're gonna spend about $100 list price for a designer fragrance. Spending 30 bucks more for something that smells five times better is I think a great deal. For me, I'm giving this a five out of five. I really, really enjoy this scent a lot uh, for the same reasons that I enjoy Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue for women and the same reasons I enjoy Versace Mano Fresh. It's a wonderful, fresh alternative scent that is woody, uh, zingy, tangy, citrusy, a little bit musky in the dry down. It is really, really fantastic. I'll have a link down below to Lucky Scent where you can go check them out. So definitely go try uh, Moscow Mule. Lucky Scent has samples too. So if you can't find one, you can get a sample from them. So that's all I have. Have you tried Moscow Mule? Let me know down in the comments. Do you like it, love it, hate it? Let me know. And of course, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe down below. I'll love you for it. I'll see you next time. I'm David the Fragrance Bros. Bye.